Hey, welcome back to system, solving systems of linear equation. On um, this final uh, video, we want to take a look at for this particular session, uh, six point one. Let's take a look at uh, a real life application. So, video club A charges ten dollars for membership and three dollars per movie rental, and video club B charges fifteen dollars for membership and two dollars. For movie rental, for how many movies uh, will the cost be the same at both video club, and what is that cost? All right. So first thing, and we're gonna just take a look really at a three, four steps, real simple steps. Understand the problem, uh, make a plan, solve, and make sure we check. So in order for us to understand the problem, we need to determine what is the problem asking us to do okay and we want to list the important information so the problem is is telling us to give the number of movie rentals where no matter where you rent it from um, A or B the cost will be the same okay so let's go ahead and and as you see I've already list some information here I have a membership fee for both A Club A is ten dollars, and for B is fifteen dollars. I got that directly out of the problem here. See, it says Club A charges fifteen dollars, ten dollars membership. Club B charges fifteen membership. And movie rentals. Here we're looking at how much they charge per movie. So here, uh, Club A charges three bucks per movie, or three dollars per movie, and Club B charges two dollars per movie. So now we want to make a plan. And inside our plan, we just really want to set up a sentence. And my sentence is total cost is price per rental times rentals plus membership. And with this sentence, I'm going to create um, an actual equation. So our total cost is Y. That's what we're looking for. So our total cost will be Y. So here for, for the first club A, y is equal to price per rental how much they're charging per rental for a okay three dollars there it is three dollars the word times is a dot that means multiplication and rental we don't know so we're using the variable x this is not time this is the variable x okay plus that's what the plus sign is here and the membership how much they're charging per membership and of course it's ten dollars so again y is equal to three times x plus ten and then of course club b we see club b uh, is charging two dollars per rental times we don't know how many uh, plus and then the membership is fifteen dollars again this is what we know and we're getting this information directly from what we know so our next step is to be is to literally solve so we here I just put my equations down closely so we can really take a look at them y equals 3x plus 10 and y equals 2x plus 15 so as you can see I've already pre pre checked everything for us so we can go ahead and expedite you know be expedient with this but let's go ahead and take a look at the graph okay so taking a look at my graph so we know that my y will be my cost right C O S T and my X will be uh, my number of rentals so I'll just put number of rentals it is vital guys it's vital that we go ahead and label these axes when we when we create in these graphs and then that way we don't uh, we don't get confused on what we're doing now what I'm doing here, and I'm, I want to go ahead and make sure that we do this and understand, I am listing these in fives. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. I'm listing my Y in fives and my X a single. So that'll be 1, 2, 3, four five six and seven of course that's eight 
So that's the way my my intervals are rolling here. Okay, so now all we need to do is go in and plot our first one, which is y is equal to 3x plus 10. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll use a different color here so to make sure that we can see them, and I'll use a, a green for that. All right, so we know that our first plot is our what? Our y intercept, which is 10. So 5, 10 is going to be my my first okay and what I'm doing here is I'm going up three and over one so again these are fives so I'm not gonna go five up one two three I'm gonna go just a little here and over to my one here okay so that gives me my particular plot there so I'm gonna go ahead and create my my line. Go ahead and make sure I want to go ahead and make sure I use this green so we can we can definitely see it. So I'm going to create my line here. Remember two points. That's all we need. Two points to create a line. That looks pretty good. So we'll we'll stop that here. Now, again, let's go ahead and make sure we label this line. This line here that I just created is is excuse me, my marker. So this line I just created here is y is equal to three x plus ten. Okay, so now we'll go back, create another color. Uh, let's use purple. Now, so. What we want to do here for our purple is we want to look at 2x plus 15. So of course my y-intercept is 15. So just put the dot there on 15. And what I'm going to do is I'm going up two and over one. So that's probably right in that area. Okay. Well. Now we have to go ahead and, 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 and draw this one. So let's go back and take my purple and make sure we match up here. And so I'm Okay, well, that looks pretty straight, so let's somewhat see where our points lie. So, it seems like to me that it should be somewhere in this particular area which we can estimate and I know that looks like 30 here and 5 here but again I do believe like, like I said earlier it's these intervals but let me go ahead and create my type for this line my name for this line which is 2x plus 15 y is equal to 2x plus 15 but again realistically because my lines are not drawn uh really with with a real good uh intervals it's just going to give me an estimation here so that's why i went on and checked it to make sure that uh, my points in here is not going to be 5 and 30 it's going to be 5 and 25 and let let's let's go ahead and and let you take a look at how I put, how I solved to get five and twenty five. I use uh, took my two equations, and three x plus ten is equal to two x plus fifteen. And of course, I combine uh, like terms, bringing two x over, and that made that three x minus two x plus ten is equal to two x minus two x plus fifteen. That leaves me with x plus ten 
is equal to 15, then I combine like terms again, put my constants together by subtracting 10, and that gave me x is equal to 5. And then, so I took my 5 and just put it in either one of the equations. You don't, you don't have to choose the first or the second, just choose any one. I choose the first one and substituted y is equal to 3 times 5 plus 10, 15 plus 5, 15 plus 10 is 25. So that gave me my y value or cost. Uh, they're equal, and this is what this is telling us. So just be real clear here is what they're asking us. The number of movie rentals is 5. Okay, these are the movie rentals. So at 5 movie rentals, the cost is equal to 25 bucks. $25. So no matter whether you go in A or B, you will rent five movies and you will have to pay $25. So again, uh, you might want to take a look at this again uh, and uh, make sure that you have it. But it's just, just simply uh, looking at making sure that your graphs are correct. And, and, and put this thing on that TI-84 guys put it on that TI-84 and let that TI-84 do the work for you just make sure you understand what we're doing but come back if you if you have issues when you're working the problems in the textbook uh, 6.1 but nonetheless this wraps up our graphing uh, uh, systems of linear equations via graphing and I'll see you with substitution coming up